What's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Scares! That's right, we're back at it on a month-long journey throughout the nightmares covering 31 foreign horror films in chronological order. And this may possibly be the film that I was the most curious to watch out of a lot of them. And the primary reason, by the way, why I chose to do this event in chronological order. We have a crossover film featuring Sadako from the Ringu series battling Kayako from the Juan series. As I kind of expected, this film is not really connected to what came before it for either series, so if you're even vaguely familiar with either of these films and legends, then you can watch it on its own, but you, know, you never know. Without further ado, let's talk about Sadako vs. Kaiko. Sadako vs. Kaiko is a 2016 Japanese horror crossover film about a young girl that ends up being cursed after watching the cursed tape. Along comes a shaman that decides to rid the world of this curse as well as the Juon curse, one it for all by simply putting the two in the same room together and having them duke it out. What could possibly go wrong? I've been patiently waiting to watch this film for the longest time. As soon as I heard about its existence, I needed to find out how it would even logically work, and believe it or not, it's actually kind of clever, all things considered. After all, both of the franchises are similar in that they're both cursed entities, and when you come into contact with either of them, your days are numbered. So it does make sense to choose these two. But I'll admit, the execution for the film, it wasn't the best at all. Whenever you have a crossover film of any type, obviously you want the focus to be pretty consistently even on all iconic characters. In this case, it's Sadako and Kayako for other films like Freddy vs. Jason, Alien vs. Predator, Avengers, Justice League, so on and so forth, I would actually argue that people usually have a good handle on keeping it fair and evening out the focus for all the characters. Sadako vs. Kayako is another ballpark entirely. Primarily, it's a Ringu film, above all else. It's called Sadako vs. Kayako, and yet Kayako herself doesn't even show up until an hour and 15 minutes in. The movie's only really an hour and a half. What came before that, you wonder? Hints, shoutouts, I, I guess here and there for Juwan stuff, such as the house. You know, the house is there. Some of the legend is whispered about. You do see Toshio in the film, who does some of the character's best ever moments, I'd argue, but not Kayako. She was saved as an end battle boss or something for some reason, and as I get flashbacks to Batman v Superman, I can definitely say there was not enough of an actual battle between the two. You know, the entire reason why you actually watched the film in the first place? There wasn't enough of it. What you do get very cool stuff, but the rest of the movie is more or less just a ring film. Now, that is not to say that that's a bad thing. It may be a little bit misleading in the marketing department, but the film as a whole works. It feels almost as creepy as some of the earliest films in the Ring series bar none. The cursed tape is there again, it's a VHS tape again. The content has changed, but it's still very unnerving, and that creepiness is felt throughout the film, including when it gets into Juwan territory. As far as scares go, the film actually stands out as well done. It's just it's unfortunate that the writer of this film clearly likes and understands the ring more. For the most part, I think that most of the negatives I have to say about this movie spring out of the crossover expectations because as a movie on its own, it's technically not all that bad. It has things that fans of both franchises can enjoy, even if it does lean towards and has favoritism towards one of them, <clears throat> the ring. The actual battle is a lot of fun, even though it is short-lived. So when I try to be super fair, I have to admit it's worth the watch, even if just for one time. I scored Sadako vs. Kayako a B- letter grade, final overall score of 71%. 71 out of 100 possible stars. A horror crossover film that scored 71% is actually pretty decent, since a lot of movies that I covered this month as a whole have received lower scores. A big part of the point here was just to be a fun movie, and it achieved that well enough, but have you guys seen this crossover film? That's what I want to know. If so, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and also, who you're rooting for. Are you Team Sadako, or are you Team Kayako? Let me know, and as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next review for interpreting the scares. And until then, peace out.